Welcome to the 11th tutorial of ECMEGA 16 and this tutorial is based on the working of transistor as a switch and we will go for the relay control with the transistor connected to that mega port and first we need a transistor for that I will go for an NPN transistor you can select this transistor or you can search for other NPN transistor double click on the package to add it into the device list now I need a resistance type RES and double click on it then I need a load to connect to the transistor for that I will search for a DC motor and select this simple DC motor model for simulation double click on it so this is the package of NPN transistor this terminal is collector this terminal is base and this terminal with arrow is the emitter to use this NPN transistor as a switch first we have to connect first we have to connect the emitter terminal to ground and we need a resistance on base to limit the current to base and we have to connect the load on collector terminal so in this case I will use this DC motor for my load double click on the motor and you can see the nominal voltage is 12 volt so we have to connect a 12 volt source for this motor go for generator mode and select DC and and connect this source to the motor double click on the source and mention the required voltage like 12 volt and click on OK now the load is connected in this configuration one terminal of the load is connected permanently to the supply and the other end of the load is connected to the collector of NPN transistor we can use any pin of the microcontroller to control this transistor as a switch so I will go for PC0 so I'm connecting this PC0 to the base resistance of this transistor now because this is an NPN transistor so the base terminal is positive and when we provide a high signal from the microcontroller pin this transistor will connect this collector terminal to the emitter terminal and it will create a path from collector to emitter and current will flow through the transistor or as well as from the load so in this way we can turn on the load or if we are not providing a high signal on the base then this transistor will be in cutoff and there will be no current flow from the collector to emitter terminal so let's try to write a program to turn on the load for this simulation first create a new project in micro C pro for AVR I will define a name for our transistor s bit load 1 at port C0 underscore bit s bit load 1 direction at DDR C0 underscore bit now with the help of s bit and add keywords I define a name load1 to port C0 pin which is connected to the base of the transistor and to configure the direction of this port C0 pin as an output I also declare the name for DDC0 pin I also declare the name for DDC0 bit as load1 underscore DIR now we have to first configure the pin as an output so load1 underscore DIR is equal to 1 so first configure the controller pin as an output pin now I will create an infinite loop with while 1 so as I told you if we want to turn on the transistor we have to write 1 to the port pin where we are connecting the base of the transistor I want to toggle the load after 1 second so for that I need a delay of 1000 milliseconds and then again I need to turn off the load and again our delay of 1000 milliseconds now compile the program and run the simulation you can see when this pin is providing a high signal to the base of the transistor then this motor will start rotating and whenever this signal goes to zero this motor will stop actually I have to increase the RPM of this motor so if I type 60 or if I increase the RPM then 
you can see it whenever there is a high signal on the base of the transistor it will activate the load and whenever there is a zero signal it will stop the load it will turn off the load now the question is that why we need this transistor switch why we can't connect the DC motor or relay or other solenoid walls directly to the microcontroller pin first of all the operating voltage of a microcontroller is 5 volts and the loads may require more voltage to turn on and the maximum current rating of a microcontroller pin is about 20 to 25 milliamps then we can't connect a heavy load directly to the microcontroller pin because it can damage the entire port or entire microcontroller so if we are using this transistor as a switch the transistor need a very small current from the microcontroller pin on the base terminal and with the little current this transistor can switch heavier loads according to the current capacity of the transistor so we are safe with our microcontroller and it is also a simplest way to connect a transistor to a microcontroller to control the heavy loads so in next tutorial I will show you how we can connect a relay with the help of this transistor to a microcontroller so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe the channel